Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to do a quick unboxing and review of the Sokani X1 and the X21 LED lights. Let's get right to it. This uh, X1 is actually waterproof. I tried to look online and see how far down it was waterproof for, but I did not see that. So if you know the answer to that question, leave it in the comments down below. Um, we have some directions. Here are some different filters that you can put over the light. Here is the charging cord for the light. And right here we have the little light. This is a very small size, so it makes it great for uh, videographers when you're traveling around. It's a great portable light. You can see right on the front, it's a little filter, and there's the LED light. What makes this one waterproof is right here where you charge it. This can unscrew, and there's your port where you would charge it. Looks like it's USB-C, so it should charge pretty fast. I read you can charge it at one amp or 2.1 amp for a quick charge. I'm gonna go ahead and get these charged after I do the unboxing and then we'll see how they compare. Moving over to the X21. This light's a little bit larger than the X1. Uh, might work a little bit better for uh, vlogging, especially on this camera. So here we have the X21. You can see it's quite a bit bigger than the X1, but that will show up and give you a little bit larger beam on your face and not a more focused uh, look to it. So this one I think will be the better of the two, but this one being waterproof, I'd be really interested to see how far down it's waterproof for. Could you use the snorkeling or scuba diving? I don't think it's waterproof down that far, but you never know. Here we have the X21. See a lot more dispersion of those LEDs, so it should give you a lot more uh, broader look on your face and not a focused beam. This one I'm gonna have to charge up as well. This is not USB-C, this is just micro USB. So, we'll take a little bit longer to charge, but we'll see how long it takes. They give you a little carabiner clip, uh, the charging cable in here, and they actually give you the quarter inch uh, hot shoe to um, kind of bulkhead mount. So this will mount right on my GoPro setup as well. I have that hot shoe mount on the side. I can slip this right in and then this will just screw right into the bottom here. And you can either have it come out the top, have this facing you, or you can put it out the side and illuminate yourself from the side. I'm gonna go ahead and get these charged up and then we'll see how they look. Okay, I now have both lights charged up. We have the bigger one here and the smaller one. This is kind of a good test in this room right now because you can see the dark spot on my face. So let's try the smaller one right now. Hold down to turn it on. You can see how much brighter my face is. Now I'm gonna give it a click to go up in brightness. Even brighter. And at the end it will start strobing. Then one more click gets you back down to the lowest power setting. So that right there actually looks a little bit too washed out. So it might need to even be a little bit lower than that, but there's different filters you could place in here and play with that. Let's switch over and do the bigger one now. Hold down to power off. This one's kind of nice because it does have an LCD screen there. So same thing, turn this one on. See it powered on. 26% that should be enough for this test. I do have this mount on here too, so it's easy to mount uh, next to my GoPro. So click once, turns on, and then on here you can adjust with the plus and the minus buttons to increase or turn down the intensity. So 20% all the way down to 1% right now. Doesn't look like much of a difference. Kind of see it on here. LEDs are just barely on, but now I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna increase the intensity. If you just straight hold it down, it will jump by 10% at a time. So I'm just gonna do that. So that is as bright as it goes. We're at 100%. That is uh, pretty bright. I'm gonna bump it back down to, I think 10% was maybe about right. So this definitely has a lot of power right here's 20 percent that's actually not too bad especially if i have it attached to the gopro and i was actually vlogging with this bump it up a little bit more 30 percent 28 percent right there 
that's not too bad. This is probably my main one that I will use for vlogging, is this larger one. Um, you get a lot more dissipated, even um, color on your face. This one is kind of a neat light though. If uh, <laughs> I don't know if you would be able to use the scuba diving, depends how uh, far down it's waterproof for, but this would be a nice one to just throw in your bag. You don't have to worry about it since it is waterproof. Um, definitely, I think these are great products. Sokani, X21, and X1. Check them out on Amazon. They're a great deal, and they're great vlogging lights. Thanks for watching, and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting, and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below.